Hi there travelers, Chris here and welcome to this week's video to help you find the things to see and do in Windora, the travel guide for the Baku Shire. Windora is located in western outback Queensland, about 14 hours drive from Brisbane and has a population of only 115 people. Although it's only a small town, there are still reasons to stop in and see what this little gem has to offer. My biggest incentive was the bright red sand dunes and the Welford National Park, but more information on this later. I post a lot of outdoor content, so please help my channel out by subscribing and hit that notification bell to check out more. And if you like this video today on Windora, smash that like button to help me reach more people. When you're looking for accommodation, camping is the biggest thing on offer with the unmanned caravan park. When you arrive, you simply find a site and someone will collect your fee. Prices range from $15 to $25 and there's powered or unpowered available. Facilities include bathrooms, a laundry, a camp kitchen and a barbecue area. Alternatively, you have a free camping option about 10 minutes east of Windora at Cooper's Creek. If you're looking for some fixed accommodation, then the Western Star Hotel Motel is the place to go. They have a bar, beer garden, and a restaurant cafe for meals. The rooms were beautiful, clean, and we had everything that we needed for a few nights stay. If you're looking for other general facilities, then the Outback Shop has your snacks, souvenirs, and standard grocery supplies, and it's open from nine to five. You can get your fuel there as well, or next door at the fuel station, which is open from six till six. Also pop into the tourist information center and find out everything and anything about the Windora area or pick up some brochures. The Windora Solar Farm opened in 2008. It uses five dishes and expected to save about 100,000 liters of diesel fuel each year. Each disc contains about 112 one meter square mirrors that sits on 13 meter mast and can rotate 360 degrees around. Consequently, sunny days will produce enough electricity for the entire town. The painted water tower art installment was completed in 2019. I'm expecting this was after silo art was getting popular in Australia. There are several pieces in including the yellow belly fish painted on the tall water tower. This is depicting what you can catch in the nearby Cooper's Creek. Besides the water tower, you have these art pieces constructed into Australian animals. You have a short five minute walk around the water tower parking, bringing you emus, brogas, and several other creatures. The courthouse began its life in the 1880s and has been moved from its original site. Not only that, but it was a private residence up until 2018 and now sits here as local history of Windora. The most popular Windora Sandhill would be Sandoz Sandhill. It's located about 10 kilometres west of Windora on your right. It's signposted from the highway and leads you in and around to the back of the dune. What's special about this sandhill, it is probably the reddest and the cleanest dirt you'll see in outback Queensland. Not to mention being so easy to get to. The kids will get a kick out of running down and I thought it was perfect for a photo opportunity, especially at sunset. The second sand hill would be another 10 kilometers past Sandos. It's not as vibrant in the color red, but larger, positioned differently, and has diverse vegetation on it. From Windora, this one you'll see from the highway on your left, and you can simply drive off the road to get to it. Both locations are great for photography, especially at sunset. However, Sandos sand hill will reflect a deeper red color and be more vibrant. Take a couple of drinks and watch the sun disappear over the horizon. Now what convinced me to stay longer in Windora was the Welford National Park. It took about an hour to drive to the National Park and we chose to explore the Desert Drive and the River Drive on a day trip. 
The drives are preferred one way and signposted as such. We never ran into anybody else, even though we saw a couple of sites filled in the campgrounds. Keep in mind that the only drop toilet available in the National Park is at the campgrounds and a fly net might come in handy too. More importantly, just make sure you have plenty of supplies for the day. It was here I found more vibrant red sand, river views, birds, and a few more Australian flowers, and so much more bushland around for us to enjoy. Will you be checking out Windora and how many of these are you now including on your visit? I really appreciate you watching this far and if you've enjoyed it, smash that like button. I have more videos from around Queensland available so don't forget to check them out. Mm -hmm.